Hi everybody, it's Renee from the Garden Farm Boutique and today I'm going to show you what rose rosette disease. This is a disease that affects roses of any kind. Co um, knockout roses, climbing roses, tea roses, hybrid, multifloral rose. Okay, this is called witch's broom. Do you see how close these thorns are? That's witch's broom. Another telltale sign is the deep, bur beautiful burgundy leaves and these thorns of red which if you look over here, you can see the red and you'll see bright green and red thorns. That's a signal right there. Then another signal on a knockout rose that you wanna watch for on an older plant is the huge thorns that are kind of close together. And if you look down here, you'll see that there's a multi thorns. This rose has been diseased for a couple years. There is no cure. It's a viral disease that kills plants. Now, knockouts will continue to bloom. However, this rose is a climbing rose. This must have gotten infected probably last year. I did not notice, but this spring I noticed. Look at the bright burgundy, and look how many thorns and how close together these are. This is a telltale sign of a diseased rose, but the deep burgundy is the first sign. Then another sign of the, the rosette, rosette disease is the buds crumble. They, they start to form and then they get deformed. They try to bloom, but then they dry up. This rose is diseased, it needs to be dug up. And what you need to do is just use one shovel and one set of pruners. Cut this all down manageable to go in a black plastic garbage bag, and then you dig out. Okay, this is a knockout rose. You should never put these in the compost pile. Do not throw them at your local dump site. Do not do any of that. They need to be cut up and bagged up. That's the roots, the stems, the flowers, everything needs to be bagged up and taken to your local dump. Now, when you're done with your pruners and the shovel, you need to clean them and you need to sterilize them with alcohol. Make sure you're using good soap. It doesn't matter but the disease is viral, so it stays on the tools and it stays in the soil. So here's the last and be the best tip I can give you. You can never ever plant roses where rose rosette disease has been. So where I take those knockouts, I can never put another knockout again. And this disease is wiping out knockouts here in the Southeast Virginia area. So you really, really need to check your roses. And if you ever have any questions, just visit me at my www.thegardenfrogboutique.com and um, shoot me a question and I'll try to answer it as quick as I can. Thank you and have a great day.